Welcome back to Beginner Beating with Janet D. Uh, today we are going to uh, do a an edging video and it will be this whip stitch edging that we see here. So let's get, go ahead and get started. So I have a an unedged pin here that I will be adding the edge to and you'll notice that I have left a little edge for the beads to lay on so you want to do at least the width of a bead or two around the edge so to start we're going to need a length of thread um, a single thread and we are going to knot it on one end like that you can see that knot so to start we are going to put our needle through the pellen, but we are going to go between the backing and the pellen so that the knot is hidden. And we're going to come up between two of those rhinestones like that. Okay, and we'll pull and you can see there that your knot will be hidden in between those two layers. So each, uh, each row of the whip stitch will have three beads and I will be alternating between the orange and the blue. So let's start with orange. I'm gonna put three beads on my needle and I'm gonna go through the back. I like to try to keep my stitches as even as possible, so I may be looking to the back to make sure that that's happening, uh, but you will see here that I want my needle to come up below where it's coming out. So I'm going to aim for the space between the next two rhinestones. The beads are going to lie here and my needle's going to come out here. So I'm going to come up through the back and I'm aiming to have my needle come up between those two rhinestones. like that. So now that when I pull it, when I pull the thread, the beads will lay a little bit on an angle like so. And I'm going to continue to do that alternating the color of my beads. So I'm going to put three blue beads on my needle let them fall down so I don't lose them and again I'm going to aim for the uh, space between the next two rhinestones from where my where my threads coming out so it's like you're skipping one and there we have our blue ones and then three orange And my, my, uh, my stitches are pretty even. You just kind of want to gauge that you're always going in. And if you're aiming for the gap between the two rhinestones, you should have a, you should have a, uh, a fairly even stitch. Those stitches stay exposed, so I like to keep them uniform. Okay, so now I'm going to continue on with my pattern of every other color or every other row will be a blue or an orange. doing every other row and skipping allows it to kind of curl and lay nicely. So I will be back when I get to the top and I'll show you how to finish it. 
Okay, so I have uh, made it all the way around. I have um, one more, maybe two more to do. So let's see how that looks. I'm gonna put three beads, three blue beads. Three orange. And because I need another blue row here, I'm just gonna squeeze one more little row in and see how that looks. Let's see what happens. come back up that same spot there okay so to finish off and to get rid of this thread what we're gonna do is pull our thread so I've come up up I brought my needle up between the rhinestone and the beads and what I want to do is take my needle and go through just a few of those beads like that and now I'm going to go under the thread that's holding those beads in place like that and I'm going to pull my needle until I have a small loop of thread left there. So you see there's a loop here and I'm going to bring my needle up through that loop and pull and that will create a knot. And I'm going to do that at least two times. So one more time, I'm going to go through a few beads. And then I'm going to <clears throat> I'm going to catch the thread between those two beads and pull until I have a loop. Pull my thread up through the loop. And pull. So what I want to do now is just take my needle and go through a few more of those beads because I want to pull that knot through the beads. So I'm going to pull and then I'm going to take my scissors and open them up and press down then pull on my thread and snip and that will make the thread disappear. And now you're done and you're ready to wear your pin. There's my stitches on the back. They're fairly even, not too bad. You see those stitch, those beads can move because there's some overlapping going on, but that's fine. Miigwech for watching.